Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. So listen, you said you have another son who you know that is a male, but he changed his, uh, he changed his gender and he has no respect for you. Watch this. The book of Isaiah, chapter three, verse 12. Bring it out. As for my people, children are the oppressors. He oppressing you, he disrespecting you. God said, as for my people, it's gonna be the children who gonna oppress the, my, the people. Then I got another one because I had three. You had three. One that passed away. Uh -huh. One that changed or is changing the gender. He's changing the gender. Okay. So you have one out of out of three that was that's on the right track, so to speak. Alright, read what you got. As for my people. As for the Israelites. Read. Children are their oppressors. The children of you mothers and you fathers. Those are the ones that's doing the oppression in these streets. Those are the ones that's shooting up corners. Those are the ones who's carjacking, overdosing, selling fentanyl on the street, killing people. Bring it up. Read. And women. You know? And women. It said, and the women rule over them. Women are the ones that rule over them. You said that's your son, right? You rule over him, but for some reason, he's oppressing you. Bring it up. He's telling you what he's going to do. He's telling you that he's not a man. You understand? Go. I was in one at. Read. Oh, my people, they which lead thee has called thee to err and destroy the way of thy past. See that? Read that again. Watch this. As for my people, children are the oppressors, uh -huh. and women rule over them. Read that out. Oh, my people, uh -huh. they which lead thee call thee to err. Believe it or not, sis, Sister Jenny. You might not want to hear this, it's a tough uh, pill to swallow, but by your example, the way you carry yourself, you cause them to err. You cause them to go off. But I'm gonna show you what you gotta do. Give me that in Matthew about letting your light so, so shine. Because you gotta clean yourself up. I think one of the brothers did go over the, the, the uh, dress code with you, Deuteronomy, talked about the bathroom sign, the dress, minus the pillow, right? So you gotta start that. Start with that. Start with the, out, the outside, clean yourself up, and then build your spirit up on your most holy faith. Uh, watch this, read what you got. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 16. Bring it out. Let your light so shine before men. So as a parent, as, a, as your mother, you have to be that example. You got to be that light. What is the light? It says, let your light, what? Let your light so shine before men. Let your light shine before men. Well, not just show you in charge. You automatically supposed to know that because you're the mother, right? He, he got to see an example. He got to see your good fruits, your good works, right? So what is that like? Give me Proverbs 23 and, uh, excuse me, uh, 6 and 23. The book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 23. Bring it out. For the commandment is a lamp. The commandment is a lamp, right? What's a lamp? It's a post that holds a light, right? You, you that command, you, you got to be that example. That walking billboard, that example. The, the commandment, that lamp, right? You that lamp, right? Read. In the law. In the what? In the law. So since you that lamp, it's something that you got to put in you. Which is the what? It is light. The law. The law is light. Watch this. Read. Because you're a parent, right? You're the parent. You're the mother, right? Watch this. And reproofs. And what? And reproofs. Reproofs? Of instruction huh? are the way of life. Correction is a way of life. Freedom. You a mother. You're supposed to be correcting your children left and right every day. Yes, That's right. a way of life. Yes. But how can you correct them if you're not respecting yourself? They're not going to respect you. That's huh? like saying, son, put the drugs down. Come on, you put the drugs down. Son, you shouldn't be smoking weed. But you just passed me the weed. You gotta be an example. Let your light shine. Let's go back to Matthew. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 16. Bring it out. Let your light so shine before men. You gotta keep the commandments, the laws, before your people. They gotta see you with a, a dress that come down to the foot with a board of blue, blue and fringes on it. Modest, not immodest, not tight. They gotta see you when the Bible comes out, your head is covered. They got to see you keeping the Sabbath day holy. Somebody got to be an example. You got to start with you. Read. As the Bible says that children are oppressor and women rule over them. Read. Let your light 
so shine before men that they may see your good works. That they, your children and all your brethren, shall see your good works. Man, Jenny, you know what? Yeah, she don't even dress like that more. She don't dress like that no more. Every time I try to get her to go out, she says she's busy on Saturday. Right. She's going to some school. I don't know. She changed into the 360. They got to see you change. Read. And glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Read it again. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. If you want your children to come into the understanding of the knowledge of Christ, they got to see you doing it first. That's, That's right. all the Bible's saying. That's, right. That's all it's saying. You, know? you want to see your children and your fa the rest of your family come into the knowledge of Christ, escape the world of pollution, they got to see you do it first. Because, Jenny, it's been, it's been too long now. You, you've been in these streets too long. You're losing family members near and dear, but it's something you got to do. Watch this. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 2, verse 20. Bring it out. Stand before us and hear this word and be like, yeah, they got the truth and walk away and continue doing the same thing. Right. Watch this. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior. So now that we expose you to this truth through the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Christ, we're showing you what you got to do, right? So you can come out of this wicked world. So you can stop losing family members. Read. They are again entangled therein. Once you come out of this world of wickedness, and you go back into this world of wickedness, meaning, for example, once you come out of prostitution or gang banging, and you come into the knowledge of Christ, and you go back into prostitution and gang banging, read. They are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. So if you leave the wickedness of this world alone, come into the knowledge of Christ study, but you go back into the world, it says, the latter end is going to be worse than the beginning. Right. You thought you were struggling with cigarettes. You thought you were struggling with popping pills. It's gonna get worse than that. When you go back, now you two blows. Now you sucking penis for the blow. You see what I'm saying? It's gonna be worse. Now you telling your child for the blow. Once you come, if you lead a world of wickedness, corruption, and come into the knowledge of Christ. No. I'm talking about physically. If you come out of a life of gang banging, physically come out of the lifestyle. Bigsley come out of prostitution. Bigsley come out of... The demons come back on is like more. Right, there you go. If, if you go back to that lifestyle, it says, like you just said, more demons gonna jump on you. It's gonna be worse. You understand that? What's your name? Terry. Terry. Watch this. Keep reading. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness. The Bible said it was best that you didn't even stop right here, Terry or Jenny, to hear this word righteousness then to go back into the world and continue in your wickedness. Watch this. Then after they have known it, to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned to his own vomit again in the soul that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. The Lord said, when you come into the knowledge of Christ, meaning come out of the world of wickedness, come into the truth, and you go back into the world, it's, it's just as equivalent to you as a dog throwing up and licking it back up. Disgusting, right? It's equivalent to taking a pig out of the mud, cleaning it up, putting cologne on it, put a bow tie on it, then the pig go right back into the mud. Go back into filth. God is trying to save lives out here. The word of God is trying to save your life. Before the time of refreshing will come from the Lord. A lot of people are going to get caught off guard. Have you lost any levels in the streets of gun violence? Yeah. Recently, yeah, family, right? Cousin, hey, Mac Yes, sir. Give me a. Uh, we are gonna, gonna wrap it up. Give me First Corinthians. I mean uh, Romans. Romans one and 20, 26. Bring it out. Bring it out. Give me that. Give me that real quick. Terry, right? All uh, right. Check it out. The Book of Romans, chapter one, verse twenty-six. Bring it out. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. Even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also, the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lusts one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly in receiving in themselves the recompense of the error which was meet. 
What is that talking about? Uh, you said down to their luck? That's going into changing your gender. You understand? Is that not happening today? Is that common right now in America? Name somebody right now. Don't. Okay. He went from being on the Wheaties box to the Fruity Pebble box. Am I lying? Right? Who else? Dwayne Wade's son. Okay. Will Smith's son. Will Smith's son? Jada, Jada Smith? Yeah. That's common right now. God said he's going to give you up to your foul affections. Lust. You read that? Yeah. All right. That's the, law. That's the first uh, commandment with promise. That's the first commandment with promise. All right. So watch this. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. See that? God said the unrighteous will not make it. When no missiles hit it, when no, you understand. It's going to be a World War III. It's coming to, coming soon. Coming to a hood near you. It's going to be real nuclear missiles hitting this place. What you don't understand is you're not going to see it coming. It's just going to happen. That's right. If you continue in your scene. That's right. Let me ask you a real question. What a dialogue. Let me ask you a real question. You was born as a what? What's your gender? A man, right? But you got men today doing what? Being, being what? They changing their gender. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.